and so this is our third interview in the series for uh, the Tourism Week in Canada, especially uh, by focusing on New Brunswick's uh, uh, tourism operators. So today I am lucky to be speaking with the co-owner and founder of Holy Whales, Jeff Grandi. Uh, hi, Jeff. How are you? Hi, Natasha. I'm doing great. Excellent. So. Um, how did, can you tell us a little bit, how did Holy Whale start? And, and, and maybe tell us about, you know, how did you come about the name? Uh, yeah, no, good question. Um, yeah, we, um, so uh, the other, the owner is my brother. Uh, and uh, we came, we thought about the idea, I guess we, um, we were both, this is kind of a second career for both of us. And um, coming from two different industries, um, myself with a marketing background and my brother, uh, an engineer turned, uh, turned a college teacher. And, uh, and anyway, what I, I, I'd given up my, my job, uh, my industry, I guess, and to go back to, to go back to college, I guess, and, and took a two year program in, uh, brewing operations and, uh, and so that's sort of how it started, and, and I asked him to 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 join, and and here we are. Um, as far as the the name, I guess we we kind of wanted we, I guess, our marketing approach is kind of something that we kind of don't want to take ourselves too seriously. Um, uh, we we uh, kind of we take the approach we want to make a really good product and and have it available. However. At the end of and at the end of the day, we're we're making beer and and uh, and it's yeah, we'd like to have it be a fun thing, not necessarily uh, you know overly serious thing. So um, yeah, so we're the holy whale. It's kind of come comes from a, a kind of like the holy grail sort of thing, uh, kind of cheesy, kind of from a movie that we both enjoyed. So. Um, yeah, that that's essentially it. And and by chance, it, a lot of people think so, so. I guess the background of it too is that we are in a in, in an old church, and uh, and by just by chance, you know, it, the, the the came the sorry the name came before the actual location. So um, isn't that convenient? Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. I think it's a great mix when things fall together. You know, it feels like you know it's meant to be. I think. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So. Um, I believe that there's a pre um, a, a, a pre COVID nineteen and a during COVID nineteen because we're still you know pretty much in it. Yeah. But I think that um, I think that Holy Whale was able to pivot slightly in in into the way that they were doing business. Can can you talk to to us a little bit about what what it was before and what did you have to do in order to maintain or and to continue growing within this period? Yeah, sure. No, it's um I mean, first we we were lucky. Um, you know, we know a lot of business owners that as soon as uh, COVID came down, um, approximately mid March or so, that was that was sort of it for them, um, as far as what they could could do um, with with beer. Although we were primarily, you know, our our business model is primarily on pint sales and consumption within house. Um, we knew right away we had to pivot in order to in order to 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 kind of continue uh you know one thing with breweries too is the there's a huge overhead and and your cash flow is you know can disappear pretty quick um if if you if you if you can't really deal with something um so yeah that that i mean we we were lucky that you know beer is something people do still want in, at the worst of times and um so that's when we you know the next day uh like things were progressing pretty quick. I remember one day it was like we we didn't believe that we that we'd be closing our tap room um, to within twelve hours, you know, being notified that we would have to close. So um, it, it came so quick, and, and we like even two or three days before this, you know, we got the notification. It was like there's no way we we were closing down, and then it happened, and then then a few days passed, and it, you realize that. You know this is for real here and and anyway so within within a day or two we 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 initiated the uh, uh, uh a delivery system like a like many breweries across canada um we had done we had 
done it uh, for the past three years at Christmas before. So um, we had a little bit of experience with, uh, with the order. We're, we're approximately a, an, a little bit over an hour away um, for anybody who doesn't know where Alma is from the greater Moncton area. And uh, so what, um, from there we, we did our delivery, we do our delivery. So it's, it's, we're kind of a product that, that not everybody sees every time we don't we don't sell in liquor stores and and uh, we're we're located outside the national funny park so a lot of people know us from kind of summer months or if if you're heavy duty into hiking and biking and such even in the winter time then then you probably you probably are more of a regular but for the most part people just know us from kind of the summer months and when they're on vacation or or visiting the park so yeah so the so, our pivot essentially was was delivering so delivering so you were delivering a b2c and did you did you try to grow also your b2b well you know or did you find that mainly like most well because everything was closed was not accessible so what were the initiatives that you took in order to make this happen uh yeah like uh, we we considered quite a bit but we, when it came down to we we came to the conclusion that we kind of wanted to strip things down um, the margins for delivery uh, on making any any kind of you know regular margin considering we're used to uh, making our margin on pint sales that pretty slim um, and we're moving more product from a, a small a smallish type brewery so um, essentially we we examined maybe looking at a website and, and all this kind of stuff and hiring more people and and whatnot but the reality is is that we we, we couldn't and and uh, so we just essentially tried to make it as simple as we could and and sent uh, taking orders on on facebook and uh, and and that's essentially it, it, it and been charging via sending a an invoice so uh it worked for us um you know we're we're kind of pivoting back to where we want kind of want to be you know we're not great delivery people and we screwed up the uh a number of them along the way but we did our best and we tried really hard it's just delivery is is tough it's a tough game um, but if we were to go that route again i think we we would be prepared for it a little bit better um, to to kind of to kind of handle this and uh and it it is tougher than it seems <laughs> But um, for you, I believe that uh, um, the opening of the Fundy Trailway um, is a, it's possibly a game changer for you guys. Um, how did you perceive the, the, the last few weeks? Uh, were, you, were you able to open? Did you get, I think there was a three hour wait um, in order to cross. So um, how are you perceiving this opening, but not only that, the, uh, the next few months to come? Sure. No, that's a great question. Um, yes, as as you mentioned, the the Fundy Trailway is is uh, excuse me opening up, and um, and and it's been a long time coming, sort of thing, and 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 kind of possibly a game changer. Um, it kind of uh, and, and the weights, you know, there were weights at the time, and and all that. It's just unfortunate. It kind of came around uh, the COVID, uh, you know, the opening up after covid things so um yeah we did we did see it and and we did by that time we were just opening our tap tap room on that kind of day where they did get a lot of traffic so we did see a lot of people come in primarily to for takeaway uh takeaway package products uh which is it's which is kind of our reality and um people kind of are slowly um you know, after being at home for essentially two months, uh, just to kind of get, you know, to get out and, and to consume beer again inside is a weird thing when it's not in your own home. So we understand that. And, and I think it's going to take time for, for our business and, and a lot of people that, that do have an indoor business to kind of, to kind of get back to where they were. Um, you know, I think our deck is kind of, is going to be key uh, come, you know, anytime really, uh, you know, you're, essentially we're dealing with people that kind of have a comfort zone that you know that varies quite a bit and and we're trying to kind of hit a, a middle ground for those who who are kind of scared of coming outside for all the way to those and 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 then people who to those that are just don't really care and don't abide so we're we're trying to get closer kind of to the middle 
where we can kind of hit the ma uh, kind of a main crowd where, uh, you know, we're going to enforce certain regulations uh, and, and require people to social distance and, and clean their hands and, and do, do everything that kind of makes sense. Um, um, but we're going to do it in a respectful manner and, and not be a kind of a, a kind of a mall cop type attitude towards kind of getting people to, to do it, treat everybody like grownups. So, um, yeah, so the, that's a long answer to your question, but we, I think, you know, we're, we're back, we're trying to get back to normal, but, uh, it's, it's going to take a while. And, and, and obviously, you know, the, the cliche, the new, new normal is, is definitely, this is our new normal. And I think we're, we're in the same boat as pretty much most, most service industries. So. So, um, cause I'll be driving through Alma, uh, to mm -hmm. go to, um, to, uh, Fundy. Uh, so how can we order in order to take out? How can we get in touch with you guys? How can we, um, give you, uh, give you guys business? Yeah, no, the best probably way would be Facebook. Um, uh, that would probably it or, or, or we could get emailed. Um, um, that would probably be the best way or even to stop in. If, if you're still intimidated by coming in, we do offer a, a curbside pickup and, uh, and we're hoping to have kind of an easy way to kind of take beer to go. Um, uh, that, that, that's going to be key. I think, uh, like, um, so if, if you are ever in the area and you do, you want to kind of reach out or get beer and, and not come in, then it's probably best to reach out through Facebook. We try, we're trying our best to kind of offer a, a streamlined way to kind of come in our doors, uh, pick up takeaway beers and then leave in a different door. So, um, you know, people are still it's like the still cafeteria. Hungry. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of, you're kind of treated a little bit like cattle, but I think this is our, this is the way things are working until there's a cure. Perfect. Any last word, any invitations that you want to put out, Jeff? Yeah, well, invitation to you on your way uh, way through Alma uh, to, to come in anytime. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, this is what we what we're we're dealing with, and and uh, and um, as far as kind of attracting New Brunswickers, we're hoping that that you'll come down to Alma and and uh, and uh, you know enjoy the rest of New Brunswick. We're we're happy just kind of backing it up uh, as a family, my own family, we're kind of picking spots all over New Brunswick yes. that we wouldn't necessarily, um, you know, think to go cause we're, you're probably, you know, kind of, this is making things a little bit more simple and a little, probably a little easier for people to kind of say, well, I haven't been there, but I've heard good things or, um, and now it's kind of fun. You, you kind of have a, you don't have the whole world anymore. You have, you have New Brunswick and, and, you know, I'm not from New Brunswick originally, but I'm a proud New Brunswicker now. And, and I think we have a lot to brag about here in New Brunswick. And that's one, one of my complaints with New Brunswickers is that they don't brag enough about their own province. And there's plenty, there's plenty here. Um, I'm not, and I'm not just pushing Alma, I'm pushing, you know, from north to south, west to east. It's, it's quite a, quite a province and, uh, and, and I'm proud and I plan to visit quite a, quite a few places this summer. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jeff, and okay. have a great season. Okay. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you.